Through the Polish mists, a column of British Challenger 2 tanks spearheads its way into the biggest exercise for UK forces in Eastern Europe since 2008. War games in NATO's eastern frontier testing British and Polish troops. As the shadow of Russia's actions in neighbouring Ukraine hangs over this whole region, the head of the British Army was here to see exercise Black Eagle. How much of a threat do you think Russia does pose? Well, I think, you know, the world is a very uncertain place at the moment uh, and being able to respond quickly to those threats, but also doing so inside the NATO alliance, being able to operate with our allies is really important. The snaking trail of military might designed to show NATO partners working together. The message here couldn't be any clearer. This is all about reassuring NATO's Eastern European members. But how much of a difference will any of this make to Moscow's calculations at a time of increasing tension is difficult to see. But the presence and scale of British forces here is certainly welcomed by the Polish commander. Those uh, presence is very important for, for us. Uh, first of all, it's very important to have ability to train with the British soldiers. The ground trembling mass display of tanks and armoured vehicles, a reminder of NATO's capabilities. For the British forces from the King's Royal Hussars and the Royal Welsh Regiment, this exercise, which has run for six weeks, is nearing its end. But as the bigger picture of Moscow's deteriorating relationship with the West unfolds, NATO's commitment to its members living in Russia's shadow seems certain to be tested again and again. Neil Connery, ITV News, Zagan, Poland.